how to use a Hula application that is basically the AI video generator. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use the trending Hula application. So let's get started. So basically, this is an AI generation platform and you can create various pictures and videos however you want, such as 3D cartoons, anime, action figures, etc, etc, using this single application. Now, when you open this application, you'll be redirected to the discover section and you can simply search through and you can select anyone that you want, such as camera motion, AI packs, action figures, stickers, even AI video, anime, action videos. So you can simply select anyone that you like, simply click on it and upload any reference photo or video and then Hula will do the work for you. So then here we have stickers if you want any kind of stickers. So you can simply select the stickers such as cartoon, 3D stickers, etc. So you can simply select anyone that you want and you can convert them. Then we have the various packs over here that you can use in order to create your AI videos or images. And then we have video over here. So there are different types of videos that you can make, such as anime video styles, make your own work of AI art, hairstyles, anime video styles, etc, etc. So you can simply use the one that you like. So here, the one that is really trending right now is the Nano People one. So you can simply choose whichever you want. So I'm going to go with, uh, let's say this over here, that is the Nano People. So I'm going to click on it. Now it says from one pic to a viral video. All what you're going to do is simply click on this and select any picture, upload any picture from your gallery, and then they're going to generate a video out of the picture, such as, you know, there are nano people, they're creating the picture, they're creating this boot over here. So you can simply click on generate and generate the video. So that is basically how you can use Hula application in order to create a video. So if you found this guide helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.